six spines. She's going to have a big job on her hands. And I just wonder whether a small dog like her on a first litter is going to be able to do that. We've now waited the full hour, but there's no sign of any puppies at all. This isn't panning out like it normally does. She's been putting contractions in, but the puppies haven't been doing their bit. Why? There's a chance they may no longer be alive. The problem we've got is that these puppies are really forced our hand. Hello, how are you? Thank you. I've got Leah. Leah, hello. She's um, some having pups. Okay, having some trouble? She's, yeah, she can't stand up on her back legs and she's okay. taken forever. She's okay. huffing and puffing. Okay, have a seat. I'll go and get Dr Chris for you. Thank you. Chris is back at the Kyabram Veterinary Clinic where Heather and her daughter Alana have arrived with a very pregnant Leah. This much loved Maltese is definitely no farm dog. She's the world to us, yeah. She's our little girl. It's starting to get really concerning, so we brought her in to have her checked up. Okay, how old is she now? Um, she's nearly four years old. Yeah. How long has she not been able to walk for? Uh, about 10 o'clock this morning. She can't even get out of the bed. She's just got nothing. Yeah, she's really unable to stand there. Yeah. The way I'm thinking is with labour for, for dogs, they generally have two stages. The first stage is where they have internal contractions, where the puppies start to move around and, yeah. and her uterus, her womb, is really starting to move the puppies yeah. in along the tube and getting ready to, to come out. Yep. The second stage is the actual visible contractions where she's really forcing and, and pushing the puppies. She hasn't really reached that stage no. yet. No, no. So what I think has happened is the puppies have moved into an area where they're starting to cause some paralysis for her. Yep. And because of that, she's reached a bit of a deadlock. Yeah. And she just hasn't been able to push because she can't really feel a lot of what's going on there. No, no. I want to know exactly where she's at, how many puppies she has, where the puppies are and how close they are to being delivered. The only way to do that is with an X-ray. X-ray. Wow, I reckon I can count. One, two, three, four, five, six spines. She's gonna have a big job on her hands. And I just wonder whether a small dog like her on a first litter is gonna be able to do that. How'd you go, is only three or four? She's got six. <sighs> six of them. My goodness. Leah has been in labour for more than five hours and there is no sign of the pups. Chris now fears the worst. My worry right now is that this isn't panning out like it normally does. She's been putting contractions in, but the puppies haven't been doing their bit. Why? There's a chance they may no longer be alive. Good girl. You know, I just think we need to give her a few drugs yep. to move things along. Okay. If we don't see any action then, then I think she's going to have to go into a caesarean, That's which okay. I know isn't, isn't what we want. No. Caesareans aren't something we just rush into. I'd rather she have these pups naturally, so I'm going to give her two injections. The first one is calcium, really to give her muscles the ability to contract strongly. And the second is oxytocin, which really stimulates those muscles to contract. The two together are a pretty powerful combination. Good girl. These injections should start working within a couple of seconds, but I'm going to give her a full hour to see if they're going to have any effect in getting these puppies out. As you can see, that's already bringing on a few little contractions here. Good girl. So this stage now will really tell us if she's going to have the strength to... To, to go herself. through, yeah. yeah. Good girl. Oh, I'm just hoping that she's able to have a normal birth and, and everything goes well, but she's exhausted, so... It's a wait and see game. We've now waited the full hour, but there's no sign of any puppies at all. You know, I've got two concerns here. One is that those puppies inside of her are probably have waited for long enough. Yeah. The other thing is that there could be something wrong with the puppies that's resulting in them not really sending the proper signal to mum to, okay. to give birth. Why is that signal not being sent? Those puppies could either be in trouble or they're no longer alive. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't really think there's any other option now. Apart no, from no, she's gone all day. Yeah. I'm not getting anywhere. That's starting to get really concerning because she's just been like this for so long now. We need to save her as, as well as the pups. That's a good girl. The plan here is to give Leah enough of this drug to put her under an anaesthetic 
but at the same time not make the pumps too sleepy. The thing you really have to bear in mind when you give a dog like Leah an anaesthetic for a caesarean is that you're not just injecting her, you're essentially giving the puppies inside of her that drug as well. And when it comes around to waking them up, the less drug they have on board, the quicker they will wake up. Okay, ready to start? Yeah. Yep. Just trying to be fairly measured here, but at the same time quite fast because these pups have been essentially on hold for six, seven hours now. It's been a long time, so just conscious of trying to get them out as quickly as we can, but as successfully as we can as well. This is the uterus here that's holding the puppy, so we'll just have to make a cut in here, and then it's going to be action. Normally, Leah would lick her newborn pups to stimulate their breathing, but in this situation, a team of vets are on standby to begin reviving the babies. And we're away, all right. Come on, puppy, just give us a couple of breaths. Mm -hmm. It's a heartbeat, but it's not breathing. Ready for another one? The problem we've got is that these puppies are really forced our hand. By the looks of it, they're not exactly ready to come out, so they're taking a long time to, to wake up, but there was really no choice given the fact that mum had gone into paralysis. Chris has now delivered three puppies, but none of them are breathing. It's got a heartbeat, but it's still not breathing, so you've just got to keep working on it. Come on, little one. With the pressure increasing, Chris joins in the team effort to revive the puppies. Come on. Tough love is required. You want for me to get back in there and yeah. get some of it? Let's get another pair of gloves. But with another three pups still to come, time is running out. They never give up on these pups. They're amazing, they're fighters. My worry right now is that those girls are struggling to get those puppies alive. From here, we're just hoping. Come on, little one. Even though it's hard to be here when I know the puppies really need help out there, the fact is they need a mother as well. So that's why getting Leah through this is my priority. It's been more than 20 minutes since Leah's first pup was delivered by caesarean. Sadly, two pups haven't made it. A team of vets is working frantically to save the lives of the remaining four. They're not actually breathing on their own yet, but the anaesthetic does have a suppressive effect on their breathing, so um, hoping that they'll, they'll come round. But yeah, at the moment, they're, they're quite purple. We need to keep them um, getting oxygen into their lungs. Little cry. Come on, mate. Is that a cry? Finally, one puppy takes its first breath. Good kill. All right. We've got one breathing and wriggling and squeaking like it should. Yeah, it's great. You're doing really well, aren't you? The vets have now managed to revive the four tiny pups. So they're getting nice and pink and there's a few little squeaks going on, so worth all that hard work, it's great. How are you going out there, guys? We've got some squealers now. Good. Squealing, wriggling. Very good, you're doing a good job. Oh, <laughs> so after all of that, we're down to our last stitch. All right, we're done. So she's in good shape. She's actually come through that really well. It was a couple of tense moments. She lost a lot of blood, all those puppies coming out, but she's bounced back incredibly well. Now, we want to see those puppies. Wow. You guys have done an amazing job. You really have, because when they came out, they were just so small, and I didn't really give them much chance. You're sticking your tongue out at me, aren't you? <laughs> It's just such a buzz getting um, live puppies at the end. Yeah, it's, it's great. Awesome. Now, guys, about the milk bar. <laughs> She's occupied at the moment, but she will be with you shortly, all right? A little patience, and you'll get your drink. All right, are you ready for this? It's a big moment. You know, we said before, you might have a little bit of a surprise waiting for you. 
Have a look at these. Look, they're yours. Yeah. In reception, owner Heather and her daughter Alana are anxiously waiting for news of the birth. First thing I'm going to do is go and check Leia. Yeah, she's um, got to make sure she's OK. Yeah, and then go and see the pups. Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> well done, Leia. <laughs> oh, I definitely love it first sight. Yeah, they're just beautiful. They were cuter than I imagined. They're gorgeous. Yeah. Oh, you're beautiful. You did such a good job. What a lovely girl. You're so clever. So I guess we just leave Leah to sleep. Yep. She'll wake up in the morning, realise that this wasn't a dream. Yeah. <laughs> she is a mother. <laughs> but she'll be happy. She'll get her head around it and, yeah. and she'll be very happy. Yeah. Just like you guys. Yep. As much as I'm sure Heather and Alana would love to take these puppies home tonight, they're still quite fragile. They're going to need to stay in here tonight for observation and a few feeds. And then tomorrow, all going well, they'll get their puppies home. So it's all ended up pretty well. It has. Mm. Thank you. It's all in cup. Wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> I think for me, the amazing thing is, no matter what animal you're dealing with, no matter where you're working, <laughs> that sense of awe and wonder about what's just happened is always the same. It's something you never get sick of seeing. Are you excited to get them home? The little puppies? Yeah, be good. It's been 12 hours since Leah's emergency caesarean. The Maltese now has four healthy puppies. I'm really excited, I'm really excited, I've really missed her. Yeah, it was really quiet last night. And um, yes, I'm so excited, I can't wait to see her. Do you guys want to come in? Yes. Hello. I think you need to see something. Hello, darling. Someone's decided that motherhood is for them after all. Um, and has been allowing her puppies to suckle. She's been licking them, she's been cleaning them. Oh, good girl. Hey, look. Oh, look at that. One, two, three, four. Oh, they're beautiful. <laughs> oh, Leah, you're so clever. <laughs> I was pretty sure that Heather and Alana had fallen for the puppies yesterday, but now I see them with them today, they are head over heels for them. I can't believe they're so little. They're now doing so well that we think they can go home today. Oh, really? As long as you get a D-sex now. Oh, by how long? How long do I have to wait? You just have to wait another month or so. A month or so. Yeah. Lucky you brought that up, I was going to ask that question. <laughs> the look on their face when I tell them they can take the puppies home is something else. Beautiful. I know they're going to look after them incredibly well. I mean, thinking we were going to lose Leah and we, we've met Dr Chris and we're taking home a dog with four little puppies. <laughs> How good's that? He has done a great job. He's done an awesome job. He's um, brilliant. Is it too early to talk about names? No, one of them's going to be Brownie. Is it really? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like looking at yourself in the mirror? Well, the hair colour's the same. <laughs> and look, he's gorgeous. She. OK, with this layer. <laughs> you reckon Brownie? And it looks like there's a bit of a trend appearing here. I've now got a calf called Christina and a puppy called Brownie. Really making a name for themselves in this town. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny. If you enjoyed this video, then please remember to subscribe to the Bondi Vet YouTube channel. Click on the screen now to continue watching more great content.